Hello, 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 all you beautiful, wonderful people. Welcome to Gangalized Treasures. My name's Renee, where my family and I are on what we like to call thrifting adventures. Today it's just me, because where man has moved and is in another state, but hopefully sometime we'll get together again and get to thrift with the two of us so you can hear us banter back and forth about what we should get, what we shouldn't get, and all that kind of stuff. But today we are going someplace exciting. We haven't been there for a very long time, like almost a year. Well, we're here in a blink of an eye for you. So, the last time I was here, I found a pair of designer tennis shoes that had lightning bolts on them. I don't remember who made them. I also found a Legos um, set of people that were like the firemen or the police department or something. And at that time I didn't know how well Lego sold and I found a uh, magic trick box that had um, I think it was some like an eight ball that you elevated um, I found two designer purses one of them I've sold one of them I still have sold the sh shoes sold the Legos sold the magic trick and it seems like there was something else, but I can't remember what it is. But we're here. I also can't remember whether they have loud music or not. But let's head in and see if we can find some treasure. And let's start in the toys. Maybe I can find some more Legos. There's a pop-up. And some backpacks. Some Lego toys, a driving toy, I don't, don't know what that pink thing is, the Hello Pony back there in the back. I just don't think there's much resale value in it. This looks like a cute game, but you take the mallets and you hit the frogs. I don't know very many parents that would like that. Musical instruments, I mean, because of the noise. <laughs> Kids would love it. A pinata of Dora. The Explorer, um, there's the big stuff up on top. The last time I came here, I really considered this Goodwill the most magical Goodwill in the land. Some nice shoes, some Nikes. Oh, I think those are Dexter's or maybe they're Floor Shine. These are nice. They're canvas. Huh. Lincoln. Not too bad. There is a scuff on the toe. Might be worth looking up. Men's dress shoes. I have quite a bit of dress shoes, but I'll take a look at what they are. And these are high test. Looks like some nice light running shoes. Soles look good. Might look these up. And I've looked all the shoes up and all of them are priced within five dollars of what they sell for on eBay. And that's a nice little kettle. I don't know why I'm looking at it. I have a hot pot. Toothbrushes. Brand new toothbrushes. Never thought about going to Goodwill for toothbrushes. Pure water filter. It's nice that they have some things that are in the box that are brand new. It's a nice big jewelry box. A Yankee Candle for $2. I don't buy Yankee Candles. Is $2 a good deal? Do Yankee Candles sell on eBay? Let me know in the comments. Because if I bought a Yankee Candle, I would probably either buy it for me or Romanda. There's a big cup you could put soup in and put the lid on and put it in the fridge. Look, another kettle. This kettle looks cleaner than the other one. But what I really want to look at is this. I think this is fused glass, but I need to look it up. I need to do some more research. One little candle holder there. Four dollars for one candle holder. That really surprises me. The shoes surprised me. This is a gorgeous box. It's got a high lacquer finish on it. 
And I'm going to open it. Oh, it does have some boo-boos there. A little dirty inside. Yeah, I don't think that's something I want to get. And my great camera work. Again. I really am working on it, I promise. And I can't read upside down. Summer living made in China. Okay. Thought maybe it was going to be Italian. That is interesting, but I don't think the pieces are glass, and there's only one. Now, maybe you pick up one candlestick, let me know. I always try to pick up two as a pair, and then you have to assume that somebody might break one candlestick and need the other one to replace the one that broke. This is a huge wall decor piece. And some mixing bowls that have been here a long time. They're very dusty. And there's no mark on the bottom, so they're just probably stainless steel. Let's move on. Pineapples. Four dollars made in Portugal. It is a water pitcher. Sorry, I didn't show you the top. But I think you might need to know this to be kind. I don't know. I doubt it. There was a glass container back there with a lid, but the lid wasn't very tight. That's cute with the roses on it. Be a little tart plate. And there's my thumb. And I can't read that fast. But it wasn't interesting enough for me to put in my cart to look up later. Lots of plastic stuff. Those were interesting because they were painted, but for me, I would be worried about shipping that many pieces. This looked like it had some age to it. Made in Italy. But for me, they wanted too much money. It's what I'm seeing is the prices have gone up. If shoes are any indication of what the rest, those are interesting, but definitely not interesting enough to put in my cart. Some things that are brand new. Meat thermometer. This would be a slicer or grater. Some of these things have that are in the box. You have to pick up the box and read it to figure out what's in it. It was a nice Valentine's Day cup, but I didn't see enough resale value in it to put it in my cart. Pillows, blankets, something like that with Easter eggs on it. This was a nice little jewelry box. All like pencils. And a nice piece of glass with gold on the outside. I think they wanted $7.99 for it. And they wanted $3 for that, which it sells for like $3.99. This was a Lazy Susan, and this was a massager with heat. Always checking the bottom. I'm doing better. Lacquer trays. Hmm could be interesting if I can find a date on the box. And there's my finger. Um, beautiful purple daylilies, maybe? Must not have been that good of a buy or that old because I put it back on the shelf. There's a vase said Firestone from the Bahamas. Is Firestone in the Bahamas? The bottom of that vase really confused me. Oh, maybe this one's Italy. But so pretty with all the veggies on it. Oops. I'm going to look that one up. Now, sometimes when you're in a store, you can't take the time to stop and look up everything you pick up right then and there. I'm going to adjust my camera and that was kind of cool it was cups for coffee cups but not something I was interested this I was hoping nope too modern 
the green dish. This was an apple whatnot box. Paper boxer. Oh, it's a water bottle. <laughs> I don't know why it says paper on there. And there is a leather belt, but I've sold one of the leather belts I got, and I got mine at the bins, so I'm not going to pay $7.99 for a belt, although it is a lot of leather. This would be a nice canister for a home. It has a tight air seal on it. Hmm. I think they wanted 4 or $5 for it, and that's kind of high. The Goodwill in Madison has better prices. This was cool. And there's my thumb again. Um, it is a clear Lazy Susan. And I should have got it, if not to resell, I should have got it for the shop. Roman and I are going to start doing shows and beautiful piece of pressed glass or cut glass. Giorgio. This came out when I was in high school. That's probably vintage and I probably should have looked it up. But, as always, if I miss something, let me know if there's something that you would have picked up. I really like that teapot over on the other side. I think I'd come back to it. Not that cup. Some clear plates, candle holder, coffee carafe, hooks to hang on the wall, and it's one of those water containers that has a little spout that you can make sun tea in. And the floor. Maybe I'll put in a cute sticker here. <laughs> and more plastic. I mean, there must be something I'm trying to reach for. Sorry about that, guys. All you get to see is the shelf right there. I'll put another sticker in there. I'll look at this gold platter. Up close and personal. I don't know what exactly it was that I was looking for, but let's move on. Something new in the package, but they want $10 for it. But I think I'm going to look it up, because it's electronical. Maybe it sells for a whole lot. And there's a hot pad and metal. I see a lot of metal wall decor and a lot of sign wall decor in the thrift stores and in Goodwill lately. If that's no longer a fashion trend let me know if you still have some at your house let me know collegiate gators bingo some wrought iron some windows and a pyrex that pyrex is really nice i probably should have looked at that a little more and that planter is tin i was hoping it was going to be hager or mccoy picked it up and almost threw it through the shelf those are interesting candle holders and not a very interesting bear for three dollars new signature just looks like it's mass produced and oh lavender soap and a crochet needle look at the asparagus and the carrots we need to look at that bowl let's see what does it say what does it say Los Angeles really nice bowl, but not nice enough or cheap enough for me to put in my cart. The prices are a lot higher here. Oh, Blue Luster. Oh, yes. Made in Japan. Yep, made in Japan. Beautiful Blue Luster face. Oh, drat, 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 drat. Oh, it has a chip wish there was some way to fix those. I know how the Japanese do it. They put the gold in it, but here is a compote or candy dish by Bath and Body Works. Not intended for the microwave. It's probably not either one of those things if it's from Bath and Body Works. I have no idea. There is a bean crock and a whatnot box. And it's intricate, but I have three or four of those already. Mmm. It's a nice bean crock, but I don't don't cook enough beans to need. That's one of those you would cook Boston baked beans in or Hmm, lots of bears. And two cups. No signature on the bottom. 
what is this back here in the back? Always had to check the bottom shelf. I like that, Al. That's cute. Oh, uh, what is that? A two-blade spiralizer. Oh, okay. For those um, spiralized veggies for the zucchini noodles. What? It's in a bag. So I'm guessing it's like a diaper bag or a purse, something. 31, you know if you buy from them, it's well made. Curtains, I don't need any curtains. Don't think I want to sell any curtains. There's another duck. I would have two if I would have gotten the one at the other Goodwill. A good garlic press. You want a good garlic press, you really need a metal one. Or I just use the back of my knife, or I used to. Headphones. And it's a pair. It's quite large. It's probably from my elbow to the top of my fingertips. And this is just a beautiful piece of wood, but what is it? They want $2 for it. That's one of the best prices I've seen since I walked in the door. There's a candle holder. There's that garlic press again. Oh, box. I thought maybe it was going to be plaster or ceramic or porcelain and going to be one of those cute ones. And then it's just big and it's in the way. And there's a whatnot box which I still have several. I wish there was more. There was only one canister, but it was so nice with the little bit of pattern in there. It was so nice. Even though it was in white, it had that little bit of pattern, the great pattern on it, and it would fit in any decor. Sorry, I won't do that anymore. I um, about made myself dizzy. And um, I am popping in from the editing room here in my kitchen and I just wanted to finish that out and um, amazement of amazements I did get enough footage while I was there um, to make two episodes so that is the end of episode one and I have one piece of two dollar wood in my cart um, the shoes were actually two sides, and I looked at all the shoes, and then I looked them up. The ones, there was um, a pair of Doc Martens I looked up. They were selling within $5. Goodwill wanted almost the same price as eBay. Um, there was a pair of either Dexter's or Floor Shine Men's, one of those dress shoes that was on top. And they were almost within 7 or $10 of what they sold for um, on eBay. And the Nikes were the same way. In fact, they were, I think they were the exact price. And I was thinking, you know, this, is, this has always been the most wonderful, most magical goodwill. And now it's just really expensive. Even the picture. I looked up the picture and it was... If I buy something for $5, then I have to pay eBay fees, promotion, and that's going to be at least $5. So I'm in it for $10, and, and if I can't sell it for $10, then I'm not making any money. Um, I know that I've heard lots of other resellers talk about that Goodwill has been raising their prices, and I have not seen that at my goodwill across the board. Um, if they have a pair of fancy shoes that come in, they do raise the price, um, like those Skull and Crossbone, Skull and, Cross, Skull and Roses uh, shoes that I got. They were $9.99, but still $9.99 for a pair of shoes that were originally $120. And I also um, wanted to be able to say thank you for coming along on this journey. We appreciate all of you. Um, thank you for liking the video. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Um, we are on our way to 50, I hope. And I wanted to let you know that Romain and I are going to do a show this weekend. We have our own booth. We've paid for it. We have confirmation. Our name will be on our booth, or our space, 
for the booth. And um, as soon as I get done with this, um, I'm going to finish loading the car and Mac and I will be leaving tomorrow to go to Amanda's house. And um, we'll have Friday for her and I to, well, it depends on, we'll have Friday, anyway, I'll have Friday to get the rest of the stuff together and make sure everything's priced and everything has stickers I'm taking. I've just decided that I have too much inventory and I'm going to try and sell some shoes and um, some stuffed animals. Those take up a lot of space. And I also took some purses and hats and maybe I'll put them out and maybe I won't. But that was part one. And as always, like I said, if I miss anything, let me know. If there's something you would have picked up, let me know. Teach me. I would love to learn from you all. And also, as always, remember that you are blessed to be a blessing. So go out and make today a great day. And don't forget, subscribe so you can check out part two.